Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Elden Ring video. If you click this video, you probably have found yourself just completing this area here, the Noxtella area, and you have found yourself in the Lake of Rot <laughs> and wondering what the heck to do, or I like to call it Satan's Swimming Pool. This is what it looks like. It's insane. Um, but if you don't have a couple of key items, I'm going to show you a couple of items to get that are going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to looting this area and ultimately getting to the boss in the middle. So there's some pivotal things that you're going to need. Number one, I highly suggest having Flame Cleanse Me. You pop this, it only requires a level 12 faith and it will cure all poison and scarlet rot instantly. That's the first thing you might want. Or if you don't have faith, you don't want to do all those things, you can go to her crafting and you could actually, um, I apologize here, let me see, inventory, right here, the preserving boluses alleviate scar lot, scarlet rot buildup and cures rot. You're going to need a lot of these things. So for me, it was a lot easier to have flame cleanse me. Number two is you're going to want to have an armor set that's going to increase your immunity. We're going to have the mushroom armor set. I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock that. So those are going to be our key items to get us through this place without dying. And one more thing is the Bestial Torch. So what's nice is if you stick with this video and you watch it all the way through, you're not going to have to really fight anything until you get to the boss because the Bestial Torch will basically um, st uh, stave off any of the poisonous toads and the things that are going to want to kill us. So first thing, let me show you how to get the torch. I actually already have it unlocked, but I'm going to show you the exact location. You're going to want to come over here to the Isolated Merchant's Shack in Kaled. So we're going to purchase that item and once again it's going to make your life just a lot easier. So just go to this merchant here. Back already. Yeah. And you'll see that I already have it purchased. So you're going to want this here. The Beast Repellent Torch. Super cheap. Buy that. The next step that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to get Flame Cleanse Me. Once again, you can skip this if you do not want to get that, but I highly recommend to get it. It's so much easier. Um, you can spawn here, here at the Eastern Tableland. If you don't have that um, Grace Point, the Church of Vows, but I marked it right here, this is where you're going to want to go, so I'll show you really fast. And we're going to try to make this video uh, as short as possible, but we're going to have to kind of run through the swamp, show you some things, so just bear with us here. Now I spawned here. All you're going to have to do... We'll go up here. I already have it unlocked. Obviously, you've seen it. You're just going to want to clear this camp out. There's like three people in here. I'm not going to waste your time showing you, but I'll just go up and show you here. There's three people just chilling in here. You kill them, and I'm one of the dead bodies in there. Is Flame Cleanse Me. Super simple. Very easy. The next step you're going to want to do to get to the mushroom set is you're going to actually need a stone key. It's just a heads up to let you know. You're going to need a, a uh, stone key, and you're going to want to come to the Seawater River right here. There. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to get to this catacomb, where you're going to have to turn in your stone key, and we're going to have to loot the catacomb for this area. And the reason that I suggest getting Flame Cleanse Me, or even having some of those rot things available, is because this is a poisonous catacomb. So you're going to get Scarlet Rot build up in here as well. Kind of hints why they hit a mushroom armor set in there. Be careful, these things do some serious damage. Like 400 damage. Oh, I guess I don't have this golden seed. Sweet. I thought I did. That's nice. Always find something new. Surprising. And I purposely saved this catacomb for the video. I know that it's actually in here, but I just wanted to show you guys and do it. So come up here, just be careful with these guys. They might want to attack you. Actually, I might want to just put my torch on real quick just to show you that they won't bother me. I'll dismount. Pull my torch out. This guy's going to bother me, though. But these guys won't. Oh, did I not equip it? I'll put it on my left hand. See? Now he will not bother me. He might do a little poison, but he's not going to attack me. See? He will not attack me. This guy will, for sure. We're going to kill him real quick. Have our torch out. Stay back, stay back, you little rat. We'll keep him back. Pop our stone key and head on in. All right, this part is pretty long confusing, but we're going to try to get through it. Just 
follow along. I'm gonna do the best I can do. I'm gonna two hand. Actually, sorry, I gotta have my thing out. Um, I'm just gonna avoid all the enemies that I can. Just not worry about fighting them. Careful, there's a drop here. So we're gonna drop down here. Like I said, there's gonna be some poison down here, so be mindful. You might, might have to heal yourself with your boluses or like I suggested, playing cleanse me. We're gonna run through here. Like I said, we're just gonna avoid all these enemies. Just keep working your way down. Occasionally popping that flame cleanse me when it's safe. I don't think there's any of those guys in there, in here. I'm gonna pop this real quick. Put my little lantern on. I don't think there's any of these poisonous mushroom, I mean these poisonous looking toad guys in here. Just some rats. So just follow my path. Hopefully I remember this by heart. Take a right. Jump up. Take another right. Another right. Behind this giant, giant thing right here. There it is. There's the armor. All right. All right. And here we are back at the Lake of Rot. So we have our mushroom set. We're going to clear our armor here. Make sure that you have your bestial torch out. And what I like to do is just put it in my right hand so I can have my healing in my uh, left hand out at all times. Just because it's a lot easier. Make sure you have the bestial torch right there. And what I'm going to do is put the mushroom set on. And the reason this is important is because it increases your immunity. So it has a really has the highest immunity in the game. So it's a lot harder to get poisoned. You get poisoned a lot slower. So you could, there we are. The complete mushroom set. I actually got the hat in here. I will show you exactly where to get the hat. So it's the first step of the video. What I wanted to show you was the immunity on it. So you can see we have an immunity of 102. If you look, like a normal immunity is 42. Um, these like 35, 50. So we pretty much have double immunity. And if you have it, it's not really important, but we're gonna swap over to this talisman here that raises immunity as well. So let's equip our torch here, right there. And let's get to it. So the first part you're gonna wanna do is you wanna come over here to the left hand side. Drop down here. And we're gonna kinda go point to point. So you can see, imagine how fast it would be without this setup here. There's gonna be loot on this body. So obviously there's not loot because I've already did it. Then you're gonna wanna head straight out here. You're gonna have to kinda pop these in the middle. Pop that. Just keep popping it. If you have to, or eating your ballas. Pop it again. Probably gonna have to heal in here. You'll see there'll be guys here. They're not gonna bother you if you have your torch out. There's gonna be loot on this body right here. So I'm gonna build, do my scarlet build up. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to that pillar over there. And I'm just going to show you these loot points because there's loot everywhere that I go. So we're going to alleviate the buildup. See, there's more guys. So you're not going to really have to fight anything if you got this torch out, which is really, really nice about this setup. Come up here. There's going to be loot on this body here. And we're going towards that pillar over there. Kind of looks like where map fragments are. And that's going to allow you to raise these points here. So this ain't going to be here if you're doing this for the first time. That will not be here. This will not be here. And then you're going to want to go here. And get on this. Stand on that. We're going to alleviate the buildup. And now let me heal really quick. Now, we're going to make our way over here. Once again, this will not be here. Oh, I'm out of FP. Yeah, be careful of that. That's the only downside. So once again, this platform will not be here, but this is where you're going to get the mushroom head. So you can see the body up here. I believe there's a smithing stone up here. You can grab that. 
grab that smithing stone there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hop down here. And then we're going to go this direction. And I'm going to show you exactly where to get the head for this. Jump up here. And jump over. Jump over again. Jump over. And you can do this right here without it. You don't want to do a charge jump. You'll overshoot it. And there'll be loot right here. This is where you're going to get this mushroom head. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go back to the first spawn point right here. And now, we're going to go to the right side. And if you guys did not know, right down here is the map fragment for this area. I think it's like right here, if I'm not mistaken. Now, same thing. We're going to come over to this side. Once again, these platforms are not going to be here, unfortunately. But you want to jump here, raise the platforms. Now, you're going to want to come out here. There's going to be loot on this body here. Right there. There's going to be some over here. So you're going to want to grab that loot on this body. Alleviate the buildup. We're going to go over to this direction now. And this is going to be another play place where you raise up uh, the land. So as long as you just fall along, it's fairly simple. And then eventually we're going to get to the actual boss fight. But once you do all, if you do all this, it's going to make the boss fight so much easier because you won't be riding yourself to death. I'll come over here, just follow the path, go in this direction. Obviously, they're not going to bother us. We're going to alleviate the build up here. Check our FP. The boss is going to be straight east. So we're not going to fight it yet. Clearly, it's dead. I already fought it. But when you do, you're going to come back in this direction. He's going to be right over there. But we're not going to do it. I've already done it. So I'm going to come over here. Raise up this last pillar here. Raise that up. Let me go real quick. Now, we want to head straight south here. I'm going to have to heal here in a minute. Health's getting really low. There's one of those, uh, I forget what they're called. Time to heal. Now up here is going to be a pretty difficult enemy. Pretty difficult. I mean, maybe not too bad, but he's going to drop on a really good sword. So let's head up here. I'll show you guys. And there's a couple items up here. He's not going to be here anymore because I've already beaten him. So he'll be down here. You fight that enemy. And that's that. You'll beat him. Grab a couple of items over there. Then you want to come back down this ladder. I accidentally hit the wrong button. That's all right. Now, I would wrap around this ledge here. You can see you drop down right here on it. And I'm going to show you a little grace point. Let's, since we're already out here, after we fight the boss, you can go there. So you want to be careful. Your camera gets kind of weird here. You want to head this way. Up here. And there's going to be a grace point over here. I'll just peek at it. And it's going to be right there. There's the grace. You can go down there and grab it. Now, we're going to head over here, get the rest of the loot. And then I'll show you where the boss fight. How to do that. You can finish it out by going this way. I'm going to cure our build up. Real quick here. Grab these couple of items. I didn't get them the first time. Then you'll head straight into there in that chest, and there will be I forget what the item is, but there's a chest right inside there. I'll have to just show you. I'll take an extra second, no big deal. So you can see in here is a chest. You grab that chest. And then you want to go back to the shore. So take yourself back to the shore. And what what is nice about this? I could 
show you really quick. I'd keep the armor on, keep the torch. Once again, you want to head to the right. So I'll show you the exact kind of path you want to follow for the boss fight. Keep all your material on that I suggested. Head through here. Those guys are going to leave you alone. Then we're just going to run straight ahead here. Up upon this. And like I said, I like to have the torch in my right hand because I can I don't have to put it away and then those guys are going to leave me alone when I want to heal, heal myself. Okay, now you want to head here and what I would do, and I highly suggest, the boss is going to be right... It looks like I missed a couple items the first time I fought him. Cool. So you can stand right here. The boss is going to be on the other side of this place. So I'll show you exactly, but I would stand here. I would switch your armor, fix your weapons, and then um, heal up. And then I will call your summon in right here, your mimic or whatever you're using. And then I'll show you where he's gonna he's gonna be. He will be right here in the Scarlet Rot, right there. And that's it. I'm gonna grab these two items here. Oh wow. Missed a couple things here. Oh, these are nice. Cool. Alright. And that's it for the video. So if this video helped you out, obviously all likes are appreciated. Let me know if it was helpful, if it was useful. I'm trying to become better at making videos, tutorials. What would you change? How would I be able to explain things better? Or was it just the perfect video and just what you needed? I try to make it as short as possible and to the point. But other than that, I hope you guys have a, rest, a great rest of your day. And we will see you in the next video later.